Now on to some Azmio la Umoja collision politics. Azmio collision led by Raila Odinga on Tuesday, April 23rd, announced the formation of a joint parliamentary inquiry team that would probe the accident led to the death of the late Chief of Defense Forces CDF Francis Ogola, speaking after the Azmio One Kenya Parliamentary Group meeting held at Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga Foundation in Nairobi County. A National Assembly Minority Leader Opio Wandai who read the coalition statement revealed that Mathare MP Anthony Olwoch and Kitui Senator Eno Kuambua had been appointed to lead the inquest as Bushebi Jr. reports. Following widespread calls for a prompt investigation into the death of General Ogola, Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition echoed the sentiment on Tuesday, emphasizing the need for swift action. They also advocated for compensation for the families of the soldiers who perished alongside the late general. The parliamentary group shared deep condolences with his family and the families of all those who perished together with him. Further, the PG called for a judicial inquest into the accident and the death as opposed to mere investigation led by the military that is close to civilians. We also demand that families of the victims be independently represented in the investigation and the inquest. I must hasten to add that we have authorized Honorable Antonio Lwosh and Senator Enoch Wamboa to lead a process of establishing a parliamentary inquiry, a joint parliamentary inquiry involving both the Senate and the National Assembly into the unfortunate death of General Ogola. Expressing concerns about potential interference in the investigations, Opio Wondai highlighted troubling signs involving the head of state and transport cabinet secretary Kipchumba Murkomen. Already, we are seeing worrying signs. We have noted that Mr. Ruto set up a separate investigation team away from the one gazette, gazetted away from the one gazetted by its cabinet secretary Kipchumba Murkomen in the gazette notice dated 8, 8th April 2024. Bumula member of parliament Jack Wamboka also urged General Ogola's son Joel Rabuka to cooperate with the investigations into his father's tragic demise in a helicopter crash. Alafu kijana naambia watu ati musionge ati musionge sisi tunasema ina funeral tunalia vile tunataka general gola hakukua tu property ya familia hiyo nucleus family alikuwa property ya jamhuri ya kenya sasa kwa kijana kusema ati ati, ati general ati tusikataye ati sijui walikuwa marafiki wapi ati alikuwa anaenda state house sijui wapi i think hata kama amefiwa he is absolutely wrong and unacceptable Kenyans want the truth about the death of General Ogola. And we want nothing but the truth. Wewe kijana tunakuombea Mungu akupatie nguvu uendelee kumoni baba yako. Lakini wacha sisi tumoni General Ogola kama wa Kenya. Wachana kutuletea. You can't gag us. Wacha kutuambia Ogola alikuwa alikuwa general wa, wa majeshi ya Kenya, hakuwa general wa familia. Various leaders including Kalonzo Musyoka, Martha Karua, James Orengo and Oburu Odinga emphasized the importance of transparent and expeditious investigations into the late General Ogola's death, citing security concerns and the need for clarity. Man and Ogola died. A lot of rumors are flying around all over. We want these rumors to be put to rest. And this can only happen if there's a thorough investigation to tell us the cause of the death, how that plane came down. But also, Your Excellency, this is also time to take a look at our equipment and our military. Because you have seen a number of these accidents over the last five to ten years. There's been so many of these crashes. Everything else has been said. I would only like to add, when an accident occurs, it's a security issue. The security concerns. 
which deserve an answer for the nation. And since an inquiry has already been formed, we look forward to a speedy investigation. The death was an accident, but even though it is an accident, in this region we have had many such accidents. And we have also had assassination of leaders from this region. So when such things happen, we are a bit suspicious, not because of anything, but we want to know the truth. We want to know the truth. And uh, I want to ask our uncle, the general's son, not to be impatient with us. It is not because of anything. It is just because once beaten, twice shy. We are asking for no stones to be left unturned and let us know the truth of who killed our uncle, General Ogola. Meanwhile, President William Ruto welcomed thorough investigations into the matter. It is true, we have lost many Kenyans because of extrajudicial killings. It is also true that we have lost many Kenyans because of political assassinations. And I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that there will never be, and let me say this, as has been said here by others, for the avoidance of doubt and without any fear of contradiction, there shall never be again extrajudicial killings or political assassinations. I have full confidence that General Omenda and the team he has appointed to make sure that all details are laid bare on the accident that took away the life of General Ogola. While Wandai raised concerns about state capture and corruption in the country, in addition, he addressed the high cost of living and food prices affecting Kenyans. On nearly all these issues, the meeting came to the sad conclusion that as a country, we are dealing with an unprecedented cases or case of corruption in government and state capture by people in and out of government. State capture and corruption are at the center of the problems we are grappling with as a people. From high taxes to low investments to provision of basic services like distribution of fertilizers. As the new financial year approaches, the Alzimulo Moja coalition scrutinized the budget and the implications of the financial act for the upcoming fiscal year, including issues like counterfeit fertilizer, pay school fees, access health care, pay house rent, and even bus fare. Kenyans are indeed worse off today than, than they were at, the, at this time last year and the year before. The PG therefore calls on the government to embark on steps that will drastically lower the cost of basic goods. Kenya Kwanza promised that Unga would come down to Kenya shillings 100 or less per kilogram. Immediately, to, immediately the regime assumed power. We need that promise fulfilled. Looking at the budget cycle, this meeting was able to establish a clear case of laws being made with the sole aim of benefiting individuals and their businesses at the expense of the economy and the masses. On the case that featured prominently at this meeting, or one, of the, one case that featured prominently at this meeting is that of the Export and Investment Promotion Levy introduced in the Finance Act of 2023. As we warned, together with the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, this levy is killing manufacturing in the country by giving preferential treatment to specific businesses whose owners have captured the apparatus of the state. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambusha Junior.